With that, day two kicked off of hearings by the Democrat-led House Committee investigating the January 6th siege on the U.S. Capitol by a pro-Trump mob. The big takeaway from Monday's public session? If he's become detached from reality if he really believes this stuff. Former U.S. President Donald Trump was told repeatedly that his claims of voter fraud after the 2020 American election were false by members of Trump's own orbit, including by his attorney general, Bill Barr, according to testimony from that very inner circle. I told him that the stuff that his people were shoveling out to the public were bull was bull I mean, that the claims of fraud were bull And, uh, you know, he was indignant about that. The nine member panel trying to make the case that Trump pushed a lie and encouraged his supporters to march on the Capitol. President Trump rejected the advice of his campaign experts on election night and instead followed the course recommended by an apparently inebriated Rudy Giuliani to just claim he won and insist that the vote counting stop to falsely claim everything was fraudulent. He falsely told the American people that the election was not legitimate. The hearing coming as law enforcement agencies are ramping up security in the Washington, D.C. area over what could be a volatile period over a number of polarizing issues. Protesters facing off outside the U.S. Supreme Court Monday over abortion rights ahead of a possible ruling on Roe v. Wade this month. Where do we want? Gun control! Where do we want it? Now! Gun control also in the spotlight after a wave of mass shootings. A possible breakthrough, though, over the weekend, a bipartisan group of U.S. senators unveiled a framework on gun safety reform. And of course, the public hearings into the U.S. Capitol insurrection are still underway. The combination of those factors and political tensions ahead of the American midterm elections fueling concerns of potential unrest. Now, again, this isn't a legal hearing. The committee is just looking into what went down on January 6th to tell that story and possibly might be able to figure out a way to make sure it doesn't happen again. So charges can't be brought against Trump from this. But of course, Trump has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. The next day of hearings, it is set for Wednesday. The Republican vice chair, Liz Cheney of the panel, gave a preview of what to expect. Today's hearing, Mr. Chairman, was very narrowly focused. And in the coming days, you will see the committee move on to President Trump's broader planning for January 6th. Melissa Duggan. City News.